didn't you come? You must have had a reason. For risking it. I need some meat. And Pat won't give me any without your signed permission. Good old dependable Pat. Here, son. Here's my signature. Take it to him, and you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. Oh, God. Hi, Dad. Just one more thing, what? Dad. I need some meat. Good old dep Now go, son. Oh yeah, how's the league going? Are you getting the hang of it? Also, have you played any other MOBAs? Cause that would make quite a difference. Oh. Oh. All right, Pat. Ready to give me some hardcore meat? So, your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? Good, good. Glad to hear it. Here's your meat, son. You run along now. A new shipment of animals has come in and it's time to start cutting. Can't What's up? Oh, okay. Come to think of it. No, oh. there, you already heard what? all this. You'll re your father's... Alright, see first MOBA you've played? Good, I'm glad to hear it. You know, getting into the hang of it. Nightfall descends upon harvest. You went eight nine kill death. Yeah, that's pretty good. Once you get the hang of, um, like, especially with Jinx, once you get a hang for how to use her passive to your advantage, which is basically just going on a killing spree. Her passive is killing spree. <laughs> uh, once you get a hang for how to use her skills and which combinations and when to use those combinations, it'll, uh, get much better. So let's go ahead and get this dog some meat. Ah, oh, he likes the meat. Just a little doggy. Operate this cheat. Hey there, male model. Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You're sitting. You just hang out here. All the time. I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Dead? Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Uh, no. In that case, I have nothing more to say to you. Except, perhaps, rest in peace. Uh... Still here. Where else would I? Yes. Good. Still. Where else? Yes. Good. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab our ladder. Oh man. All right. And oh, yep. Find the. Still. Yes. Good. Cloth in there. Let's get out of here. Just, uh, you know, exit. Having acquired the cloth, you make your way back to the house after an exhausting day. Who, uh, who was your lane partner? Which support were you using? Lost the rhythm. Never mind.
Oh, it gets better every time. He's just so exhausted. Hmm. So much. <laughs> Actually, um, so much theft. standing. What's up, Hank? Never mind. Good. What's up, Mom? Hello, dear. You know those firemen? The funny ones with the color sense? Looks like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. <laughs> Don't forget to Let's uh, forget Jimmy's paper today. Damn it! What's so hard about remembering to take out the paper? Why don't we go uh, check out the lodge? I did it, Master. Exquisite cloth. Oh yes. Its loss should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's pole. Fine, I'll do it. Lack of respect for authority. A fine trait for a member of the Order. Yes, I approve, Stephen. I hope you succeed in your task. Break into the shop. Steal the barber's pole and bring it back to me. At that point, I shall give you your final task. Final task. It's actually a pretty short point and click. Uh, the Gad Memorial TV station. What else do we do? Let's go to Edna's diner. Let's see what's happening here. Hey, Karen. Bye bye. I can't talk. Okay. I feel terrible oh. about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. I can't believe one of them stole that cloth from the others. It must have been someone else, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, wait. I know what I could do with that autograph. Do you want it? Little Karen? Cool. <laughs> Go check out the fire station. Now that we have ruined their day. Oh, they're gone. I didn't care. Never mind. Let's check out the police station. See what's happening here. What's up, Sheriff? Boy, the way you... You've been shooting off your mouth about me and Boyle, Steve. Oh, yeah. I'm nowhere near solving the Tucker case. And now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on around here? Yeah. Sorry, Steve. I I'm a little too shaken to talk right now. <gasps> Mr. McKnight's oh. been killed and, well, it's hit me hard uh, for some reason. I I've got to think about this. Stop on by any time, Steve. 
Will do, partner. I'm sorry. In it. Let's go check out the Wayward Hotel. Anything new, Mr. Moynihan? We really. Okay, never mind. I'd say it's been. He does not care. He's simply there for the dead bodies. Let's go uh, see what Johnson has to say then. Sorry, Steve. Uh. Good work rescuing Karen. Oh, yeah. Of course, you queered my play with Edna. Uh. But I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? Oh. Yeah, I think Bye so. Bye now. I can't be sure, though. So I'll go check out Potsum. Talk to Stephanie. See what's did going on. Did you say on. hello to? I sure did. Thank God. Those silly willies down at the fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. Ah. What's up, Hello, Wilson? dear. Yes, please. She's Hi. Give my re you Guess we're having the. Oh, man. Give my re You have nothing to Hello, say. Hello, dear. Why then? Whatever are you here for? Oh. I'm busy. Give my re God. All right. <sighs> Talk to Stephanie. Steve, it's so good to see you again. I get so lonely in here. I'm sorry. Want to hear what's happening out in the real world? No. I'd rather forget about Harvest for a while. Oh, yeah. Come here. Stephanie? <laughs> I feel so close to you, Steve. Like we're the only two people Ugh. in Harvest. The only two real people. Do you know what I mean? I sure do. So, who's ready for a sex scene? I need to feel something again. This sense I have that I've known you. It's my only link to my past. Yeah. Maybe it's different than memory. Maybe we don't remember each other so much as we recall the feelings deep inside. Strong feelings. Maybe the body has its own memory. Let's find out. Ah. I want you. Make love to me. I want you too, Stefani. Then take me. There you go. That's what you wanted to see today, right? That's like, uh, what you were planning on watching today on Twitch. That's what you came here for, right? I'm glad to see you. <laughs> I feel so alone, cooped Stabby. up in here. Stabby, was that pasty you know enough for you? Someone stole some fabric from them, and they're up in arms about it. Why would anyone steal a bolt of fabric? Why would firemen spend their time decorating? <laughs> 